Happy Saturday, everyone. This is Miss Gail here at Georgia Peach. Now, how are you guys doing? I miss you. I miss you. I've been working. Oh, Lordy. But I'm trying to get some garlic planted real quickly because, you know, the um, forecast for this week is that we're going to have 37 degree weather. And it's supposed to be in the ground or in a container or in the grow bag. Um, two weeks before your first frost, your cricket, let me straighten you up. Well, I messed up on that one. So I'm going to get it in now just in case it's going to be okay. I did kind of cold stratify it in the refrigerator for like three weeks. So I'm hoping that that would count for something. So bringing you along right now, I'm going to put you down amongst all my stuff. I've already separated my clothes. And I can't remember which brand I have. Mona, Mona sifting some soil. Help me, help me. I forgot because I got, I think you and me the same thing. Anyway, I have them here in this bag. Now, they're supposed to go like four inches down into the soil. Um, see, I'm trying to turn this. This is a good thing about the grow bag. I keep saying that you can't fold it down. So, it's supposed to go four inches down. And then, you know, you cover it up. So, what I'm doing is, I should be at my four inches. I'm just going to go in ahead and put four inches of soil on top of this. I have some, um, make sure I am recording because I see a red dot. Sometimes, yeah, there it is. Sometimes I think I'm recording and it is actually for photo. Um, so let me see here. I'm going to get in your way for just a second. I'm turning the sides down to help you guys be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm at the four inches, then I'm going to raise the side walls up and put four inches of soil, three to four inches of soil on there. Three inches underneath this soil, I have um, put some murate uh, potash down. It is potassium and phosphorus, and it'll help it to bub up better. And let's see, I have the bag, but it actually tore. So let me see if I can bring it out. But I put this in there, this in there. And that is, and it's a chemical, okay? I'm telling you, it's not organic. Y'all already know that. Anything that has color like that, it's not organic. So I'm going to just take these clothes out and see how big the clothes are. And you put the end in that, this is the root right there, the flat end. The pointy end goes up. So we're going to get started. I'm going to put them all out like this so I can find them easier. I can find the bigger pieces easier and kind of lay them around. You want them to be, they say about, this is about five inches apart, but I never follow that rule and I've not had any problems. But you can do what you want to do. And uh, let's see here. So I'm just laying them out to get an idea of what I'm working with. The bigger pieces, I definitely want them to have a, you know, lot more space to let the smaller pieces, you know, you don't want to put them up against the wall whether it's the wall of this, this bag or the wall of a a, 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 a container or a, the wall of anything, bucket or whatever, because when it's trying to grow, it'll hit that and it'll start to grow. So, you're going to just put it a, at least, I say two or three inches away from that. And um, I'm also going to place them in between like each like these two right here, I place this one in between that. And that will allow more growing space. Let's see here. And uh, I've already added regular fertilizer. You guys know me, bone meal, blood meal, and the um, vegetable herb, not the earth, vegetable herb, tomato fertilizer. This has everything in it. This is a 463 which means it's 4% nitrogen, 6% potassium, and 3%, I mean, 6% phosphorus, and 3% potassium. And then I have my blood meal, which is um, by high yield, but you can use whatever you want to. And this is a 1200, so it's all nitrogen. And we have the bone meal, and I'm sure I probably tore the part off that tells you the, but this is, let's see, it may be down here. Yeah, it's 2% nitrogen and 17% phosphorus. So you want a lot of that because you're growing above something that is above flower, 
If it was all greenery, like greens, I wouldn't worry about it. But yeah, so let me go on ahead and get started because you know it gets dark quick, 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 quick. So I'm just gonna place them around. These little ones you can eat, I go on ahead and plant them. Um, whatever size your bub is, you know, that's the size it's gonna be when, when it grows out. So now I'm gonna start pushing them in. Remember, the flat end goes in. So I'm just gonna push it down like that. Keep it sitting up if you can. I'm pushing it down. And I'm gonna keep it like that until I finish so I know where I was. Pushing that in between those two. Pushing this one in between those two. And let's see. Maybe I take you back a little further, you can kind of see. And you wanna keep up with where you're putting them so you don't put them on top of each other. Oh, it feels so good to be able to do this, you guys. I've been trying to do this for a long time, man. Just couldn't get out here. And then it rains, so that's a bummer. Get this one in right here. You come over here, that's there, so you probably can't see this one that well. I'm gonna go on ahead and finish so that you can get to the point where you can see me. And sometimes they pop back up if they're not down there good. You just check on it. And you can do this in a smaller container. You can do it in a five gallon container, five gallon uh, bag, grow bag. You don't have to have anything as big as what I have. Especially if you're just starting out if you just started, if you just started out, go small until you know what you're doing. So now I'm getting ready to go in the, in the center, the very center right here. And I'm making an indent with my hand purposely so I know where I am. I can grow one right here. And let's see here, we got some more big ones. Right in between there. This is a 30 gallon grow bag in case you're wondering. And I do kind of favor 30 gallon grow bags because you can fit so much in there. So I've done just about all the big ones going to the medium sized ones. Here's a big one right here. So now I'm going to collect them up see what I have left because the smaller ones you can just kind of stick them in between they're not gonna grow that big this one right here doesn't need to do that just take these up because I may end up putting these in a small pot you can do that so this is a big one can go here. The big one, it can go here. This one can go here. Now I'm going to go to the outer part right there because I know that that's not going to grow big. This is not going to grow big, so it can go here. And I'm packing it in now, I'm packing it in. That's about two to three inches away from the wall. And like I said, these are the size that you see this is the size that the onion, I mean the garlic is gonna be, the cloves on the garlic is gonna be that size. So when you're getting your garlic, think about the size of the clothes that you are purchasing. These are tiny ones that I'm doing right here. And I'm putting them in between the other ones. So everybody has space.
And I've not had a problem with my garlic um, not growing because of space. You have to look at what you're putting in and where you're putting it. See that little tiny one right there? He's not going to bother nobody. So I'm going to put that one right there. It's not going to be in the way. So you're getting on around. Getting on around. Let's see here. As long as you stay away from the wall. And this one can go right there. I don't know what that is. Nope, that's not a garlic. So it looks like I'm going to get them all in here. I'll make them fit. They're going to fit. I have one more. The rest is history. And let's see where you look like you need to go. Right there. Okay, so now... I'm going to cover them up. I'm pushing everybody in, making sure everybody's got some good depth on them. Got some rocks in here. Don't need that. Pushing everybody down. We're going to just cover up. And to make sure that they are completely immersed like they're supposed to be, I'm going to add some more soil. This is when you raise your side walls up. And raise them up. Let's see, where's my mirror? Oh my goodness, I don't lost it. I don't see it. You know, things get lost out here in the garden. Okay, this always has some measurements on it. So you want it to be at least four feet, four feet, four inches. This is four inches. So they're about to right there. So I bring the soil level up to about here. And that'll make sure that they are properly covered. Moving my chair. some good stuff. Bigaro. Bigaro. This has a lot of good stuff in it. This is Bigaro. Um, security blend indoor or outdoor. And I thought it could tell me real quickly what it has in it, but it's got some good stuff in it. Now that's not all I use. I use a blend of different things. And what you're doing, what I'm doing now is breaking up the clocks. And how did I end up with you guys looking like that? Okay. It's okay. I got you. Got three. That didn't get planted. Uh-oh. I'm being too rough. I'm lifting them up. I got to stop. So you, uh, I'm breaking the, the clocks up with my hands. You don't want clocky stuff in here if you can help it. Be careful when you take your hands over the soil because you'll be like me and bring them up. And push the walls out. Push the walls out. So what I'm going to do with these, on your finger, one, two, three, four just gonna go down this one came from over here go down four push it in one two three four you got these lines on your fingers God gave you your hands that this one can go anywhere it's okay gives you measurements okay so I'm gonna take a shovel because I have extra soil that I 
got from other plants. Put that on there. You reuse your soil. Don't throw your soil away. You repurpose it. You um, just add some amendments to it. Nitrogen, potassium, like I just did. And um, re repurpose it. Don't throw it away. Now, of course, you people who are growing ground, you don't have that problem. is raising this level up because it's going to get cold. This is going to last. You have to let it last. It needs to last six months because that's how long it takes to grow your garlic. So you put a good layer of soil on top of it, four inches, and this is about right. And I'll come back later on and put some straw on top so that it can survive through the winter. You see how I'm pushing these walls out? That's what you do. Push the walls out so they don't collapse. And there you go. We have planted our garlic. Yay! I am so happy. I've been trying to do this for a while. Now watch this. It's my new people. My old OGs. Y'all yeah, know. So what we gonna do now? We gonna water it in. Now it's supposed to rain. I don't rely on the rain. See how I'm just making sure I go across? And I'm gonna show you another trick because I do have a grow bag. Because I do have a grow bag. After I go across, I pull this back and go down in the, on the sides because the water just runs off sometimes. Because it's been so dry, we have some very unusual weather nowadays, and the soil is responding differently to it. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to do whatever we need to do to make an adjustment. Just adjust what you do. We don't know what's going on. We don't know. We just make an adjustment. Pull that wall back so that water can go all the way down in there. And I'm giving it a saturation because it needs to activate all of the nutrients that I gave it. Amendments. NPK, it needs to get activated by the water. You don't want it to just sit in there dry. That's not going to be good. And this is a big container. So I need to make sure it gets all the way down to here. So any chemical um, fertilizer we get activated. And I, people say, you say you don't use chemical fertilizer. Every now and then I have to. I'm far behind the eight ball. But yeah, I had to do that today. Don't judge me. It's still not on the plant. Okay. All right, you guys. Whew. We have just planted. We just planted Miss Gail's garlic. <laughs> We're going to keep fingers crossed and pray that they come up like they're supposed to. Uh, we've had very unusual weather. Very unusual. So, yeah. We were supposed, we were supposed to have our first frost, I, I think it was October the 15th or maybe November. I don't know. Anyway, it came real early. 
I had not planted it yet, so hopefully I can get in. You need the frost to hit it so that the cloves will divide properly. Otherwise, it'll be just one bulb with no division. I will see you guys in the garden soon. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to tell folks about Miss Gail over here. I'm just a plain old person out here. Just trying to grow some food. You guys, I love you. Take care, and I'll see you in the garden. Bye-bye.